In this video, we will be talking about inequalities. All of these signs can be a part of an equation that is called an inequality. As a review from last night's video, we have the equal sign, the not equal to sign, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the less than or equal to sign, and the greater than or equal to sign. An inequality is the relationship between two expressions using one of these signs. For example, 4 equals 4. Equal sign is the relationship between 4 and 4. Or for example, 3 is less than 10. So the less than sign shows us the relationship between 3 and 10. Not equal to, so we could say 5 is not equal to 0. So this sign here shows us the relationship between 5 and 0. Now the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to signs are interesting because it could look like this, but it could also look like this. Because 5 is equal to 5, but 3 is less than 5. So the less than or equal to and the greater than equal greater or equal to signs can be used when things are equal or when one side of the equation or expression is less than the other side or when one side is greater than the other side. But again, this could also be this. So for this first problem, it's asking us, is this true or false? So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the left side of the equation and we're going to solve the right side of the equation and then we are going to compare the left and right side and see if the sign makes sense. So on the left side we have 6 times 3. We know that little dot means to multiply. And on the right side we have 4 to the second power, which means 4 times 4 plus 2. So let's go ahead and solve further. 6 times 3 is 18. And 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2. We still can solve further. 18 is greater than or equal to 16 plus 2, which is 18. So now we ask ourselves, is this true? Is 18 greater than or equal to 18? 18 is equal to 18, so then this would be true. Here's the next example. Again, we're deciding whether this is true or false. So we're going to solve the left side and the right side and then compare them. So on the left side, we have 3 squared, which is the same as 3 times 3, is less than or equal to 3 times 4. Because remember, when we have parentheses next to a number, that means to multiply. So now let's continue to solve. 3 times 3 is 9. And we're saying, is that less than or equal to 3 times 4, which is 12? So we're deciding, is this true or false? Well, 9 is less than 12, so we would say that this was true. Another thing that could be true is if this side was 12, because we know that this little line means equal, so that would be also true. Go ahead and write the definition of an inequality somewhere on your homework right now to show that you have listened to the whole video. Here is our next true or false question. On the left side we have 3 fourths plus 3 fourths and on the right side we have 1. So let's go ahead and add 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. So 3 plus 3 is 6 and our denominator stays the same. So is 6 fourths less than 1? Well, if we take that 6 fourths and we turn that into a mixed number, 6 divided by 4 is going to be 1, remainder 2, which is going to look like the mixed number 1 and 2 fourths. So now we're asking ourselves, is 1 and 2 fourths less than 1? No, it is not. 1 and 2 fourths is a mixed number, and therefore it is more than 1, so we would say that this is false. This is homework question number 1. 
The question is true or false. So on your online homework, you're going to be choosing a multiple choice of true or false. So go ahead and solve this out. Solve the left side and solve the right side on your paper and see if this statement is true or false. Okay, our next problem here is a fill in the blank problem. We're filling in with, all, with one or more of these signs to make this true. So let's go ahead and solve both sides. We have 10 times 10 on the left side. And we have 100 plus 100 on the right side. So 10 times 10 is 100. And 100 plus 100 is 200. So there's a few different signs that would work here. For sure we know that 200 is greater than 100, but we could also say that 200 is greater than or equal to 100. We could also say that 100 is not equal to 200. And I believe that's all of the ones that would work. So would you, we would use the not equal to, we would use that 100 is less than 200, and we could also use that 100 is less than or equal to 200. Here's our next problem. Again, we're choosing the signs that would work, and there could be more than one. So we have 7 ninths plus 4 ninths. We're deciding what the relationship is between that and 2 on the other side here. So 7 plus 4 in our numerators would be 13. 13 ninths. And how is that related to 2? So we're going to want to change that 13 ninths into a mixed number. So 13 divided by 9 would equal 1 remainder 4, which would equal 1 and 4 ninths. So this mixed number over here is 1 and 4 ninths. So what is 1 and 4 ninths compared to the 2 on the other side? So we're looking at this number and this number. Well, 1 and 4 ninths is going to be less than 2. 2 is a whole number that's more than the whole number 1. So some of the things we would use would be the not equal to again. The sides are not equal to. Um, we would say that 1 and 4 ninths is less than 2. And we could also use the less than or equal to. 1 and 4 ninths is less than or equal to 2. Here's homework question number 2. Just like the previous problems I showed you, you're going to fill in the blank for this problem. So you're deciding which signs, and like it says here, there could be more than one answer, which sign or signs would make sense in that blank. Now we're gonna try some true or false with variable questions. So we're gonna be using the value that they give us for the variable, and we're gonna be plugging that in into the spot of the variable. So for this one, we have p squared is less than or equal to eight squared. So we're going to take that 9 and plug it in for p. So 9 squared is less than or equal to 8 squared. So we're going to write this out as we've practiced. And 9 times 9 is 81. Is that less than or equal to 8 times 8, which is 64? 81 is not less than or equal to 64. So we would say that this answer was false. Next question, true or false? Again, we're plugging in 5 for m. So 5m equals m plus 10. So we're going to write this out. We have 5 times 5, because a letter next to a number means to multiply, equals 5, replaces our m, plus 10. So let's keep solving down. 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 plus 10 is 15. So does 25 equal 15? No, that is false. Here is homework question number three. It is a true or false. You are plugging in two for y and deciding whether this is true or false. And homework question number four. It's a true or false again. Your variable is x and the value for x is three. So you're plugging in three for x and deciding whether this is true or false. 